my helpless man and woman fall into a trap from which there is no escape but death. Inferno, written by Peter Fernandez. Lester, did you see that sign? Hmm? Uh, which one, dear? The last one in front of that gas station we just passed. No, missed it. What did it say? It suggested that we check our oil, water, and gas because it's over 50 miles to the next station. <sighs> Relax, honey. We got enough gas for at least twice that distance. Well, you know best, dear. Mm-hmm. You tired, Sheila? Yes, and warm. Well, I'm afraid I can't turn the air conditioner any higher. It's a desert out there. Must be 130 in that sunlight. 130? Just imagine. Yeah. That's real desert, all right. Remember in school, the history book? Mm-hmm. Our forefathers crossing that and without air conditioning. <laughs> Two miles an hour behind a couple of oxen. And not even a road. I don't know how they did it. There, I snapped a good picture of that clump of cactus we just passed. You better save some film, honey. What for? Well, we might as well get pictures of everything. It's not every year that you get transferred clear across the country to California. Mm. When we stop for the picnic lunch that you had that restaurant make up, I'm going to find us something real colorful. Maybe around those mazes out there. You'll want some shots of those, won't you? All right, Les. Oh, this heat has made me so drowsy. Mm, I think I'll take a little nap. Good idea, hon. I'll wake you when I find a good spot to have our picnic. Hmm? What? What was that, Lester? For goodness sakes, where are we? I don't know. Just saw this old dirt road leading off the highway to these hills. An old mining road, probably. Thought we could follow it a bit. It's about time for lunch. I promised you... Oh, be careful, dear. I promised you something special for our picnic. But how far are we from the highway? Mm, five miles, maybe. There. Up ahead there. Under that big rock formation. There's good shade there. Oh, why, it's beautiful. We'll be there in a couple of minutes, honey. But your crazy talk that we're going to strike it rich. Can't it? It was right around here a hundred years ago that the four-leaf clover mine was covered over in a slide. That's your story, Bates. I was a fool to stick us with every cent I got. Oh, I'm through. Well, listen to me again. I'll listen long enough, I tell you. We're low on grub. Ain't even a shell for the gun if we was to see even a jackrabbit. I'm going back to camp, take my things, and get out of here. Will you shut up and listen? Huh? What? Don't you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, what is it? It's a car. That's what it is. A car all the way up here. Oh, who would be fool enough to... Hey. Hey, there. There it is. Stopping right over there by them rocks. Get down. Get your head down. Yeah, yeah. But I've seen it. Just hope they ain't seeing you. What difference does that make? I'll get my stuff and hitch a ride out of here. Wait now. I got an idea better than that. Huh? Well, what do you mean? Take another look, Candy. Careful, though. Careful. Yeah? That's a fancy car, hmm? New. Costs a lot of money, hmm? Now, look, Bates. It's too blame hot for chit-chat. What you thinking? I'm thinking if them folks are stupid enough to come pleasure cruising up to a place like this, they deserve to lose that car. You mean take it? Sure. That and anything else we can get our hands on. 
Hero Bates, for the first time since you talked me into coming up here. I see how we can make a strike after all. What a spot, Lester. Sure beats the state park back in Greenville for a picnic. Mm, that was a good lunch. Uh, <clears throat> now about those pictures. Fine. Ah, oh, you want to take one of me against this rock? Oh, no, Les, I couldn't get any of the scenery. Uh, oh, look, over there. Where? Over there, with, with all those hills in the background. And see that long stretch of desert? We'll take turns. I'll get a nice shot of you, and then you can take one of me in the same setting. Oh, out there? Honey, that's out in the sun. No, I think here in the shade, where it's not so hot. Oh, it'll only take a few minutes, and then we can get back in the car and cool off. Come on, dear. We'll, we'll never be able to get shots like this again. Well, okay. But let's make it fast out in that sun, huh? Come on. Well, that's the end of this roll, honey. Now, let's get back to the car before we melt. What's the matter, Sheila? The sun. I had no idea how, how hot it was. Oh. Sheila. 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 Fainted. I... If I could carry you back to the car. Oh. Oh, Lester. I... What happened? You passed out. I was afraid of something like this. I wish you'd have stayed by the car in the shade. I'll be all right now, dear. You can put me down. Oh, no. Here. You sit here in the car. Oh, oh this heat. Well, oh, I'll switch on the air conditioner. I sit right there. Mm. I'll come around to the driver's seat. We'll be all right with the air conditioner going. Here we are. Now, oh, as soon as you're feeling better, we'll get out of here. It's not working. Oh, of course. I've got to start the engine for the air conditioner to work. I always forget that. That's funny. What's funny, Les? <clears throat> I thought I'd left the keys in the ignition, but I probably slipped them into my pocket without thinking it. Nope. Are they on the seat there? Oh, uh, well, I don't, I don't see them. Hmm. I'm not sitting on them. Neither am I. Uh, Maybe you dropped them out there. I better go look. Okay. Now, now don't, don't be alarmed, Sheila. Just keep your fingers crossed, honey, and hope that I can spot those keys. <laughs> Here you are, Gandy. I just grabbed him out of the car while them fools was taking pictures. Well, hey, is this all? A bunch of keys? Look over there, Gandy. Careful now, so they don't spot you. Uh -huh. You see where that sun's reaching now? That rock overhang ain't going to be shaving that car for long. They're going to be right out in the sun. So? So, without these keys, they can't get away. They gotta stay in the sun. Them folks is gonna roast, Gandy. Roast. And when they're dead. We split that with him 50-50? That's right. So come on. Nothing for us to do but wait for that sun to kill him. Let's get back to camp. My canteen's empty and I'm thirsty. <laughs> He's right out there. I couldn't find him. Lester, what are we going to do? Do, do. I don't know. This, this heat. Sheila, we've got to get out of here. Maybe you could start the car without the keys. Oh, let me think. Yes, there, there, there is a way. Crossing some wires. I've read about car thieves doing it all the time. But, but what wires? Where? I, I don't know how. But your hand is shaking. Oh, don't worry, darling. We'll be all right. It's too hot to spend any time out in that sun. I'd never make it. So the only thing I can figure is that we'll wait until nightfall. 
Then I'll hike the five or six miles back to the highway and get help. We'll go together. No. No, you'll be safer here. The only thing is... What, dear? How are we going to last until that sun goes down? We'll try, Lester. Well, just try. The sun's already hitting part of the car. It's getting so hot in here. Honey, I'm afraid we'll have to get under the car. You'll give us some shade and, and there'll be some air. It's our only hope, Shayla, to last out just till nightfall. Now, come on, honey. Wait a minute. We still have a bottle of soda pop left from our picnic. I, I better bring it along. Good. Now, come on, Sheila. We've got to hold out until sunset. Lester? Lester? Hmm? Oh, I guess I dozed off. The sun's gone. It, it's getting dark. Yeah. And that breeze, it's cooler. Feel it? Mm-hmm. No, I'll... I'll try to make the highway. Oh, wait. W wait until you're feeling stronger. Well, come on. At least we can get out from under this car now. Oh, thank goodness. And once I'm on my way, I... Oh, Lester, you almost fell. I'm okay. I've just got to get help. We never last to another day. I'm going now. Wait, here. Here, there's a drop left in this pop bottle. It's for you. No. No, you drink that, Sheila. I've had most of it already. Now, please, darling. All right. Thanks. Now, you stay right here. I'll be back before morning. And be careful. I love you, and I don't want anything to happen to you. I love you, too, Sheila. Please don't worry. What's that? What's what, dear? There's something over there. Where do I get this flashlight on? There. Hey! Howdy, mister. Oh, we thought there was no one around here for miles. Well, that's what I was thinking. With a big, fancy automobile, too. Well, well, well. Where'd you come from? Up there. Up in the hills. Where are you from, mister? Where are you heading? Well, uh, the plain fact is that right now we're stuck. Yeah, hmm? We can't get our car started. So I'm going to hike to the highway and get some help. Now, that's what you're planning to do, eh? Thought so. Hey, you couldn't ever make it, mister. Not in the shape you're in. Your hands shaking like that. Ain't hardly able to stand. I've got to. Maybe. But uh, you listen to me now. I got the burrow here. When I'm tired, I ride, and when he's tired, I walk. I could get to the highway for you. Well, you'd do that for us? Why not? I'm on my way to get water myself. I'll oh, make it worth your while. Money? Keep it, mister. I'll be glad to do a simple act of charity. Now, you just sit right there. Both of you. Don't go wandering off and get yourselves lost. I'll be back. Just trust me, friend. Just trust the old bitch. Oh, a miracle. That's what he is. I agree. We'll be safe now. Come on, Sheila. We'll, we'll sit in the car. Try to get some rest. They're gonna wait for me now. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> wait till doomsday, huh? That's right. Uh, might as well stretch out here for a while. Imagine any fool getting caught up here, and nothing to drink. Yeah. <laughs> Just imagine. Gandy, bring me a dipper full of water from the goatskin. Uh -huh. Just thinking about them folks gives me a powerful thirst. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Look at that moon, Sheila. Uh huh. Almost as bright as daylight. Mm hmm. But cooler. Much cooler. We must be thankful for that. What time is it? Uh, quarter past ten. He's been gone for almost an hour and a half. Could he have reached the highway yet, do you think? Six miles? No, not even near it. Even riding the burrow. I wonder how far he is. Oh, well, that should be easy enough to find out. In this moonlight, with this elevation, I should be able to spot him. See now. Hmm. See him? No. Well, there are shadows. Th those rocks way out there. If he's moving, we should be able to... Ah, that's strange. What do you mean? I wonder if we haven't been fooled. The way he looked at us and, and at the car. Hmm? Almost as if... Sheila, he's not out there. But he went in that direction. He could have circled around behind these rocks. Right now, he could be waiting until morning and that sun again and... and the end for us. He seems such a harmless old man. <laughs> harmless? To kill us, he wouldn't need a gun or a knife. Not out here. Just to trick us, as he's done now. Then you'll have to try to make the highway after all? No, I can't. Why not? If that's his plan, to stick around until dawn, to watch us die and then take everything, he's a killer. And I can't leave you alone here. Sheila. Yes, dear? Look, you see where I've got the flashlight pointing? Uh-huh. That's a print from his animal in that alkali dust. And then, over here, see? Another. Yes. If we follow those prints, maybe we can find him. If he is hanging around here, then he's got water. And we've got to get to him before sunrise. Let's go. Shh. What was that? I don't know. It, it could have been an animal. Ah, that burrow of his. He must have a camp around here. Lester, look. Be between those boulders. Isn't that a tent? Yes. And beside it, it's to that pole. The burrow. Yeah, I, I see something else, too. Where? Hanging from that point of rock. Yeah. Yeah, a goat skin. There's only one thing carried in something like that out here. Water. Sure. And I'll bet right now he's sleeping in that tent. Sleeping, waiting for that sun to come up and kill us. Uh, honey, you stay here. Yeah. I've got to try to sneak that goat skin of water out of there. Well, let me help. It might be heavy. No, no. We'd make too much noise together. Here, you hold the flashlight, but keep it off. Be careful. He might have a gun. He might have a knife. Wait here, darling. So far, so good. Steady, fella, steady. Just a few more feet. Now. Uh, it's almost felt. And heavy. If I can just get it off this pinion. out of my arms. Are you all right, Les? Yes, but... But does it matter? There's no water. <laughs> no water. No water 
enough for any of us. No worry. He's right, Beach. We got to get more water before sunrise. Or we'll all die here. Us as well as him. You don't have to tell me. Uh, quick now and hitch the burrow and pack our gear. We'll take the car just like I planned. Have you still got the keys for it? I got them. Don't you worry about that. Let's get moving. I'm coming, Bates. I'm coming. D- did you hear that? They took the keys. Yes. Let's get back to the car. But you can't start it. Well, that's true. At least we can try to prevent them from taking it. Come on. It's getting light. Can't you see them yet? No. But they'll be coming. They'll be following that old mine road. Look. Coming around that pile of rock. Yeah. Now, remember... Sit right there in the car, no matter what happens. You and the missus, get away from that car. We won't move from here. You gonna make us wait till that sun kills you? That's what you're gonna have to do. That sun's most up already. How long can you and the missus last with no water? Huh? How long? You are is all. How long can you and your friend wait for us? You don't have any water either. He's right, Pete. We can't wait around much. Shut up, Dandy. Look out, Lester. See this shotgun, mister? Now you and the missus get away from that car. Or I'll kill you right now. Either you shoot us, or we die of heat and thirst right here. The shooting might be a lot easier for us. He's got you there, bitch, ain't he? Shut up. Well? What's the matter? Why don't you shoot? I'll tell you why, mister. Because he ain't got no shells for that gun. I told you to shut up. Ah, that shotgun isn't loaded? Even so, you ain't getting away from here. Neither are you. Just think about that. We got the animal. We got the burrow here. And it's six miles out to the highway. Animal or not, you can't make it with no water while that sun is up. Now, if you don't move out of the way, we're going to throw you out of the way. There's two of us. And me and Gandy are going to... And there's two of us. Stay in the car, Sheila. No, they're old men, and together maybe we can hold them off. Come on, Gandy. Let's take that car now. I was willing to string along when this looked easy. It ain't easy no more. I said it is. We got the car now. We can leave them here. We can't get the car. Yes, we can. Now, listen. We got to get out some water. We're going to die with them. Give me those ignition keys. So you can leave us here without water? We will last through this day. I know that. Them keys ain't doing us any good. Give them to him, Bates. Listen, mister. Now, listen. Will you get some water to us up here? Give me the keys. You got a promise. Give them to me. I guess we got to trust you anyway. Here you are. Thanks. Get in, honey. Yes. Now, we're going to be waiting. We're going to be waiting right here, mister. Don't forget us now. Why not? You can sit in that sun and roast. No, mister, please. You couldn't do that. Yes, I could. Mister, leave it up, Taylor. Forgetting us. That'd be murder, that's what it'd be. In just a moment, we'll return for the concluding act of Suspense. There it is, Lester. There's the highway. I see it. 
Thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Well, darling, we, we were heading west, but you've turned us back toward the town. You know we can't leave them there without sending someone to help them. No, dear. Of course we can't. Not us. We lost a whole day and night up there, but... Anyway, at least you got some good pictures. <laughs> Just in case we never get a chance to cross this section of the country again. Lester, dear, if we ever have to go this way again, let's not. Suspense. You've been listening to Inferno, written for suspense by Peter Fernandez. In a moment, the names of our players and the word about next week's story of Suspense. The... Tonight's story were Ellen McRae as Sheila, Richard Holland as Lester, Mandel Kramer as Bates, and Robert Dryden as Gandhi. Listen again next week when we return with Night Man by Lucille Fletcher. Another tale well calculated to keep you in... Suspense.